Hello everyone, today we're going to be revisiting some of the stream highlights from Adventure Phantom Nights from our stream before last, uh, where we really had an absolute blast playing this deck. It was really strong, really fun, some really, really good moments. Uh, I know not everybody wants to sit down for a full four hour long stream. I appreciate it's not everybody's cup of tea. So this is really meant for people who only really want to see a specific deck. We're going to put a spotlight on it. We're going to call it Stream Spotlights. Maybe that's a cool name. Maybe it's text. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Either way, if you like this idea or if you like any of the content that we do in general, be it deck profiles, be it showdown uh, lives, be it Pokemon Unite, be it anything at all that we do here on this channel, feel free to subscribe. You know, you might as well. We've got tons of content coming out. We're trying to get two videos every single day, except for the days we're streaming. We also stream at least three times every fortnight. Uh, so plenty of content coming out all of the goddamn time. So if that's something that you're interested in and want to keep up with it with, feel free to subscribe and like the video if you end up enjoying it. Let's get into the gameplay. Oh, I think that's why I was able to use Sky Strikers to get Damon 1 last season, because it's a blind second deck, and this game refuses to let me win a coin toss. Oh, this this hand isn't nearly as good. The last hand was way better. I mean, this is still fine, right? How do we... Branded opening makes this one difficult. No hand traps. I'm pretty sure I run, like... 10 or 12 hand traps and that's two games in a row we haven't opened any of them we might drop we might drop wings we might drop wings i don't think wings is like super great i like having an additional trap sort of for the graveyard yeah we can get dp no even just uh silent boots by itself is dpe like this even just by itself is dpe uh so having fusion destiny in hand is sort of meh it, it, it is what it is it's almost it's almost bad to be honest delightful there's the mask rod so we need to order we need to we need to order this carefully right we need to be very careful here I think we're gonna open up with the uh, with the adventure stuff just to see uh, we need to we need to bait out an ash blossom because he almost certainly has ash blossom right like we know that we know he has ash blossom oh he's playing the idol lock Ooh, don't like that Wait, so hang on, he goes... Wait. Huh? What in the name of Jack am I playing against here? What is? What are these games? What is this first two games? Um, sure, we'll make it work. We'll go for it. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No mirror jade? I guess we still go Enchantress first, right? <laughs> Out of all of the boards, this is definitely one of them, right? This is a board. <laughs> Out of all of the boards to ever exist, this is one of them. We're gonna go Enchantress, because I, I sort of... I, I actually want to bounce the Masquerade back to the extra deck before I do anything else. Um, Because I don't really want to be... I don't really want to be playing around with the taxes, to be honest. I, I, I do I do not want to be paying my taxes. I'm going to be real. Okay, we're going to go Fateful Adventure. Awesome. Okay. I mean, Normal Summon our Ancient Cloak. That triggers Adventure. Yep, okay, 600 more. That's fine. We're going to take a we're going to take a couple more hits from the tax dragon here and then we're going to be able to out it. Um Not smart. That is that is not a Dragostopelia negate. I'm sorry. What? God, I love platinum. Oh wait, oh wait. Hang on. Now I'm misplaying. Hang on. <laughs> God damn it. We meant to add that to hand. Um, all part of the plan. It's fine. Don't worry, don't even worry about it. I'm gonna bounce the tax dragon back the hand. Um, that's fine. So now you don't need to get left as Dramaturge. Sick. We're loving it. So I guess we Fateful Adventure now then, right? Fateful Adventure, we will grab... <gasps> Do we grab the Illegal Knight? Oh no, we've already Draco backed. We've already Draco backed. Bad play. Bad play. We probably could have done that first, but you know what? It's fine. Um, 
he he can he can use the dramaturge, yeah. Uh, the dramaturge is in response to a extra deck summon. So if we summon something from the extra deck, then he can negate. But it doesn't matter because we're gonna put our negate out first. So we're all good. We are absolutely golden. So we're gonna just special summon out our boots, man. Our, we're we're absolutely goaded here. What is going on? This man just cannot keep up with the sauce. Um, we probably go Dag though, right? Dag is nasty. Dag is absolutely nasty. So we're gonna go Dag to here, right? You wanna activate your effect? Activate Dramaturge, please. Please activate Dramaturge. Go on, you know you want to. Please do it. This guy... Oh, he didn't! Oh, he used his brain! There's no way! He used his brain. So what would have happened there if he had have activated Dramaturge, target Dagda, we would have been able to chain Dagda to the Dramaturge and resolve it anyway. And it would have made my life a lot easier. <laughs> But unfortunately, it was was not meant to be. I think we're gonna go into shade, right? We'll do shade. Shade is fine. We need to get rid of the trap card in our graveyard to make it usable. So we're gonna use wings and grave to summon out boots. Technically, we could have grabbed Raider's wing there, uh, but it wouldn't have done us very much good. So now that we have no traps in grave, we can set and activate this. That does, that does trigger Dagda. You love to see it. Dagda set safe and we're gaming. Bring this guy out, sick. You love to see it. Then we can Dagda, plus, oh no, we probably want to go Link Spider first, right? So we go Link Spider, we turn our shade into a Link Spider. Then we go Dagda and Link Spider into um, DPE. Oh no, we have Fusion Destiny in hand. We've got so much. We've got so many cards. So now he can use his Dramaturge, but like, to do what? <laughs> no, <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Do we just Unicorn and go for a game? Is that possible? Is that something that we should... <laughs> Hang on, can we Unicorn for a game? Okay, no, we're back, we're back, we're back. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the stream lagging there, or was it just Master Dill? Okay, we're gonna go unicorn, unicorn, drop boots to spin back what's the Pelia? Yeah, we'll spin Stapelia. Because the Stapelia uh, will resist being destroyed thanks to the branded opening in the graveyard. The game was not streamed. Sick. Okay, great. As long as you guys aren't getting any lag, that's that's all I care about. Okay, then we go in the access code. What is this deck? I'm sorry, what is this deck? Why is this deck actually nuts? Banish the Link Spider. We destroy the Dramaturge. This, like, honestly, why is this deck actually crazy? Yeah, there you go. Like, that's the thing. Instant scoop. Uh, and then we still have DPE. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> why is this deck so good? Why is nobody using this? This is so good. So once we beat this guy, that's going to be us on a seven win streak with this deck. Pretty, pretty nuts. Now, again, to be fair, the last two people we played against, right? The first two games of the stream, absolute lunatics. Absolute lunatics. Oh, definitely going first. Oh, you 100% go first because you are setting up the safe lock uh, with DPE. You're setting up negates. You're setting up trap cards. Oh, you're doing you're doing everything. So 100% you're going first with this deck. Man, our hand is actually so good. See, this is where stained greaves is useful. This is this is why I had stained greaves. But like this doesn't happen all the time, so it's whatever. They were just, they were just out here living their lives. Out here cooking. Absolutely. Ooh! See, that's not good. Um, <laughs> that's not good. Ah, uh, you're gonna derank this man. He's playing flu. He deserves to be deranked. 
we could right go into verte and dpe we could do that but then we lose dpe permanently you know what you know what i'm confident take your turn i'm confident he's actually just not gonna beat us he doesn't have it in him there's no such thing as a Floundery's OTK. Sword Soul? What do you mean? Fantastic, thank you very much, my friend. I, I, right, hang on, D Shifter in Sword Soul. What do you mean? How are you summoning Protos? So what is this, just gonna be Baron Grandmaster? Like, I don't understand. And then what are you gonna banish for your Grandmaster? That is not a good combination of cards. This is not good. He doesn't get Mo Yi's effect because it never went to the graveyard. He's not going to get Long Wan's effect because it doesn't go to the graveyard. He can't banish a card for Taya. He can't search, uh, summon Protos. He can't banish a card for Grandmaster's effect. He can't do any of the, this stuff because of his own shifter. I don't understand. <laughs> this is just a, it's just a bad card in this deck. I, I don't are they just hoping that shifter hurts their opponent more than it hurts them is that the logic it might be maybe it maybe it is just we hope it hurts our opponent more I mean that's the sort of logic you put behind it when you're using it in thunder dragons where it's like it's good in thunder dragons uh, it does still stop certain plays but it is, generally speaking, more hurtful towards your opponent. Like, that's the thing. We we literally just... If, if once it passes the R turn, we just drop it, negate, negate, win the game. Like, <laughs> we, we lose nothing. I don't understand. Let's see. Give it to me. Tort skills. We're, we're the best at the video game. We're simply the best. We are unequivocally the best. We're just gonna droplet. Droplet, drop ancient cloak and ragged gloves to the grave where they want to be. And then we negate his whole board. And then all of that was for nothing. You love it. Negate, negate. No uh, shifters no longer in play. Blackout, uh, yeah, probably, but okay. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna play through it. It's, it's whatever. <laughs> we, we don't care. That's that's the that's the, the worst part. Like we actually don't even care. Um Do I use this now? I probably I probably use Ancient Cloak first, right? Uh Ancient Cloak grabs us a Phantom Knight's card. Yeah, we're we're gonna use Ancient Cloak. We're gonna grab wings. Um Oh no, we're not gonna grab wings. I guess we're gonna grab this. Why can we not grab wings? No, no wing. Okay, I guess I must have misread the name of the card. Um, so we can go Raider's Wing if we really want to. If we want to be spicy, we can go Raider's Wing. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking that idea. I'm liking the Raider's Wing idea. I'm really liking the Raider's Wing idea. Okay, then we're going to Special Boots. The trap is better, but I can grab the trap off of Boots. So now I get both. Then I can... Has to be normal summoned monster. Uh, that's fine. We can go Chirabini here, right? Yeah, we can go Chirabini and then we'll use the... Uh, we'll use Torn Scales effect later on. We can still revive him later. We can revive. Uh, we can revive the Chirubini later. That's fine. Or sorry, revive the the torn skills later. And we activate Chirubini. Please imperm me. That would be hilarious. Please, I would appreciate it if you impermed me. That would simply be the greatest. No. Okay. Okay. So we have we have so many options. We actually have so many options. It's unreal. It's there's actually so many options that I don't even know what to go for. We're gonna go right of Aramisir. So it's a good thing we didn't activate Torn Scales effect because I think we can yeah, we can still use the right of Aramisir now. I guess we banish boots, grab the trap. That'll trigger Torn Scales.
Yep, that triggers torn skills. Brings itself to the field. Maybe this wasn't the greatest of plays. Maybe we should have grabbed the wing card. Uh, but you know what? It is what it is. It's fine. We're going to go... Yeah, we're going to go Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. That's fine. We'll ditch the Raider's Wing. Yep. Raider's Wing, then we're going to send this card to the grave. Now we're going to activate Raider's Wing. Sorry, the we're going to activate the, 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 the Phantom Knight's Wing. We're going to re-summon Raider's Wing. And he needs to he needs to act fast because if Raider's Wing is material on a, a Dark Exceed monster, it can't be targeted with card effects. So he needs to like stop us now. Otherwise, Blackout won't be able to target us. Okay. Link uh, sorry, exceed two into Raider's Knight. Awesome. So this guy can't be targeted now. Let me very quickly read the effect. The original attack. Oh my god. This is disgusting. What do you mean? So we'll detach the Brigadine to grab ourselves the Arc Rebellion Exceed Dragon. We're going to activate the Rite of Aramisir. Rite of Aramisir summons out the token, of course, as well as grabbing us the Fateful Adventure. Okay. Then we're going to activate the Arc Rebellion Exceed Dragon. We're going to negate the effects uh, Prada Plant Verte. In this deck, it summons out DPE. He thinks he can target us. I knew he didn't read the Raider's Wing. I knew he wouldn't read Raider's Wing. I knew he wouldn't read it. <laughs> oh my god, people need to read. <laughs> this deck is actually crazy. <laughs> There's nothing he could do about that. And I knew he wouldn't read the card. Nobody ever reads Raider's Wing. This deck is crazy. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know why people aren't playing this deck. My hair is way too long. I really need a haircut. But uh, I don't understand why people don't play this deck. Uh, this isn't the greatest hand, but this is still fine, right? Um... So I can still, like, unironically, dag the DPE here. Right? So we can still do dag the DPE. Okay, you absolutely can add in Cosmic or Twisters. You're 100% right. You absolutely can. You can drop maybe Illegal Knight and... Um... What's the other card? This. Phantom Knight's Wing. So this card, because it doesn't say the Phantom Knight, that means there are certain cards in your deck that can't search for it. Um, but you can drop those to then basically add in your, your Twisters or your Cosmic if, if you are so inclined, if that is something you want to do. Uh, what is going on there? Dr. X, once again, nice to see you. We're going to go Brigadine. And we're going to link two off into Dagda. Uh, oh yeah, we're ranking. We're on an 8 win streak. Oh, well, sorry. We're on a 7 win streak. This is about to be game number 8. Um, but absolutely. Start a synchro. Yeah. <laughs> it certainly has its moments, but it's not great. <laughs> Whew, start a synchro is like... It is. You see, if it didn't take 7 years to play a single turn, I would play it on stream. But, like, I would probably, like, out of a four-hour stream, I would probably get to play, like, six matches. Unless you factor in all the bricks. So, you know, it is what it is. We're gonna drop... Uh, yeah, we'll drop two. It's fine. We'll drop the Denier as well from, from hand. We go into DPE. We got DPE safe on deck. Do we think this guy's playing an extra deck strategy? Probably, right? Most people are. Uh, so we're limited to, I believe, Dark Warriors for the rest of the turn. Cannot special summon except Dark Hero Monsters. It's actually even more specific than that. Low-key, Cross Crusader plus Plasma? Is that a play? Is Cross Crusader Plasma actually, like, unironically a play? 
in this deck. It may be. I don't know. <laughs> like, do we just... Do we put Cross Crusader in so we can summon these two back, link them in the Cross Crusader, Cross Crusader searches the deck for Plasma, and then you can have a Plasma summon on top of everything else? I mean, we could, right? That sounds really stupid. Mr. Numeron. <laughs> if he's actually playing Numeron, I swear to God. Um, He can't super poly us into anything, right? So the worst thing that can happen, and I'm going to say this, even though this exact thing happened on a TikTok of mine, the worst thing he can do is kaiju us. I was expecting to get immediately tributed. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> And we can test it out, yeah, but it's like, it's like, it's not going to be good. I, I already know it. Ooh, it's runic. Um, it's runic. It is, in fact, runic. Yikes. So I think we... Um... Oh, that's so good. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so good of him. Uh, <laughs> he has to like activate one of his fusion cards now, right? He has to act. He has to summon Huggin. He does. Oh wait. He does. He has to try and summon Huggin. Okay, right. So we did. We we did mess it up a little bit. So we did. Right. We should definitely have gone safe in the draw phase. Definitely should have done safe in the draw phase. That's my B. Might be, 100%. That's fine. I get it. That's absolutely my bad. So then we're going to pop Soif plus his Fountain. Fountain's going to get protected, of course, by the Huggin. That's fine. Fountain does, in fact, resolve. Allure will also resolve, as will my Soif, which are both mandatory activations, so they take place first in the chain. Okay. Safe brings itself out. We're gonna say it here. So basically, on the turn that Safe is summoned, no more extra deck for our opponent. Uh, they do banish our Ancient Cloak. I don't like that. Not in love with that idea. Turn our toggle off. And Insta Scoop! Nice! Well, there you go. That would actually be criminal. I don't even actually want to get the diamond yet. I want... <laughs> I'm gonna have to... I'm literally gonna have to, to play a deck to rank myself back down so I don't get in the diamond too early. Ooh, we might not win this game. This game is looking pretty schnasty. Oh, never mind. We're against Dragon Maids. This deck sucks. Not gonna lie. Low-key cringe. Um, yeah, Dragon Maid's not that great. Uh, they are going to be able to... They're going to be able to just grab my... Oh, they're going to change over. I expect them to just grab Teddy and set Teddy and pass. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. I see you. We're going to turn our toggle off. We don't want to give him a Mirror Jade Banish target. Okay. This guy's... He's cooking. Okay. I'll be on the Branded Dragon. What are these Santa Grave? I'm curious. Stay Sailor Romarin. What? So, he's gonna pitch the Preta Plant Fusion, I would imagine, to Grave, and then fuse the Preta Plant Fusion and his Albaz into Mirror Jade, and then the Albion on the field gives him fusion material for his changeover in hand, so he's gonna have Mirror Jade plus Xiao, right? That's the play. Or what did he pitch? Well, he pitched the Synchro Monster, same thing, right? Uh, what does this do? Banish this card from Graveyard, target a Rose Dragon, whatever. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It does, it's the same thing as the Predator Plant Fusion. Branded, yeah, Branded Dragon Maid. Interesting. Never, I mean, actually, I've seen it. I haven't played it, though. But he gave me, like, he gave me a whole bunch of cards. Branded Retribution. Ooh, Retribution's a problem. Um, Retribution is low-key a problem. Okay. 
Raider Swing, not a fantastic top deck. Malicious isn't a good card to have in hand. The Illegal Knight could be worse, right? The Illegal Knight could be worse. It's gonna grab Chamber. That's fine. We, we let the Chamber happen. That's whatever. Okay, we need to think about this. We need to we need to think about this. If I can resolve the illegal knight, we're in a good spot. I just don't think we'll be able to do that. We're gonna set our shield, we're gonna activate our shield. A summon shield right out of the field. Okay. Right, then we're gonna summon Raider's Wing. How to play? Oh, oh, I will bring up my deck list. We'll 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 play it. We'll play it on stream. Uh, we will not play it for very long because it's not that good. But we'll play it. It's been a while. It's been a while since I played Stardust Synchron. Holy crap! It's been a long while. Okay, he's gonna send Sprind to the graveyard. Okay, so there's the Mirror Jade Banish used up. Okay, Raider's Wing. Understandable. It's fine. It, it, like, if you open up your combo, if you open up your main combo, nobody's beating you, right? If, you, if you're able to combo off successfully, no one is gonna beat you. But, your combo is very easily interrupted. Um... We have a couple of plays here. I just don't like them. So one of our main plays, because right, if the Rite of Aramisir or this interrupts our, if our Rite of Aramisir essentially gets negated, we're in a rough spot. We're in a rough, rough, rough spot. So what I think is best, we just set, set, set them up, right? I think we just start setting them up. And then, if we're able to maintain a decent game state going into next turn, we'll be fine, right? I think this is fine. <laughs> What's the magic cylinder? <laughs> magic cylinder pog, absolutely. Was it like at least? Was it at least like the the good magic cylinder deck? Was it like the? Was it the one who uses like the extra trap card to like double the damage? Wait, hang on, he's got two two level fours on field. Hang on, wait, look, is this a problem? <laughs> this, this may be a problem. <laughs> this may be a problem, not gonna lie. Um Right. Yikes. Magic Tilder is kind of interesting. I like it. it is a, that is a classic Yu-Gi-Oh card right there. One of the classics. That's fine. He's gonna grab back his changeover. This is rough, right? This is real rough. This is for sure very rough. Can't believe the first deck to beat us is actually Dragon Maid. What? Nuts. Playing Machines, 12k attack. <laughs> That'll do it. Oh my god. 12,000 attack. Could you imagine that with the other Magic Soldier card that doubles the damage they take from it? 24,000 damage to the face from your own attack? Nuts. Activate the effect of the Fallen of Albaz. Ah, fine. Go for it, Chief. You do you, Chief. I guess he's gonna bring out the... He's gonna bring out the Tax Dragon, I would imagine. Maybe... Oh, Starving Venom, okay. I love Starving Venom's design. Absolutely love this design. Twenty-four k attack. Yeah, <laughs> sounds about right. We may play. A, I've been trying to learn Earth Machines. I have an Earth Machine deck set up. I just haven't had a ton of success when playing it, so I, I feel like I'm playing it wrong. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I should be activating my trap cards. Crap! I'm beginning. I'm getting distracted. Distracted. Um. I really should have did this before Shio. Really should have did it before Shio. Oh, now I lose. I'm gonna lose now. God damn it, Bobby. I should have, before he attacked with this, activated Fog Blade to lock up the Mirror Jade, because that would have forced him to use this early. 
he can still use branded retribution here if he does activate branded retribution his mirror jade gets negated so it's fine uh, sorry tributed not negated so shale's negated mirror jade is also negated we're still going to take 28 to the face here off of starving venom which is fine with these two negated we're not in that bad of spot right he could technically tidying to bounce the cards back to my hand he could he could do that or he could just change over again god damn it He's just going to fuse into another Xiao, right? So fuse these two in the Xiao, I would imagine, right? I would assume. One would assume. There's also the possibility that one would be wrong. Never mind, he just has another one in hand. Uh, yeah, that's the house dragon made, though. That's not nearly as intimidating. Okay. Um, I think we're fine. Right? I think we're fine. Is there any chance after this game... We'll probably do a duel room later in the stream. So we typically... Uh, during the stream, we will typically launch a duel room, but that it comes in like the second half, right? Uh, so we'll not be doing anything just yet. I've never actually looked at Denier. Look at this man's suit. Actually, wait. You can't see it because of the chat box. Never mind. Don't look at his suit. His suit is off limits. To peons. How dare. Oh, Denier and Malicious in hand is rough. I don't know how we're coming back from this, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to start with the Raid of Aramisir. We're just going to give it a shot. See what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't think very much is going to happen. I'm not going to lie. If he activates Branded Retribution, I lose. Okay, so we're going to go for maximum sheesh here. We're going to chain our call by the Grave. Call by the Grave is going to get negated by Retribution, I would imagine. He has to use this Retribution eventually. It has to come out. Let me see your Retribution. I'm going to go Illegal Knight. He, he just doesn't want to use that card. A lot of branded floating about again, which is nice. It sort of died off there for a while, and and it's sort of back now, which is cool to see. There's the Retribution, finally. So he decided, out of all of the cards I just used, the biggest threat was the Illegal Knight. What? So he can grab two fusions from his graveyard to, to activate this, right? He can, he can return the Sprint and the Albion, so he can, instead of returning the Mirror Jade. Which is fine. He can return the Mirror Jade, though, to destroy the Fog Blade, which is completely understandable, makes total sense. Uh, we are going to banish and negate the maximum sheesh. We now have the Raid of Aramis here on board, which is big, right? Uh, he doesn't have any negates, which is also big. So we're actually not in a terrible spot. We actually have plays. So we're going to go for Fateful Adventure. Wait, do we normal denier? No, I think that's a terrible idea. We activate Fateful Adventure. We're going to drop a Malicious. To grab our Griffin Rider. Right, we're going to drop... Mm, yeah, we'll drop Mally. Okay, that's fine. We're going to special summon out the Griffin Rider, which is going to give us that little bit of protection that we need for this turn. Awesome. Okay, so now we're at least somewhat safer. We have options, plans, things that we can do. Okay, so we got the Draga back. We're going to... We're not going to equip it yet. Activate Mali Engrave. Banish one, summon one. Normal summon Denier. Link two into Verte. Activate Denier to summon itself. Return to Mali to top of deck. Banish Mali, same fusion destiny. Fuse or two destiny heroes on field. There's DPE. That's the play. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go. So we're going to grab Mali. I don't know if anyone followed that, but what our plan is, right? We're going to set up a DPE play, but we have to do it in a very unorthodox fashion. So we have to use our actual two Destiny heroes themselves as materials for the Lynx and Averte. 
Oh, my music is paused. Why does it pause so quickly? Whatever. Uh, then we're going to use Denier's Effect in Grave. Right. Yep, Denier Effect. Come back from the graveyard. Awesome. Denier's going to stack back on top of the deck our Banished Malicious. I think our opponent is starting to see the play. We're going to stack back the Banished Malicious. Then we're going to activate the mali Well, actually, do we even need to do that? I don't think we do. I think that's overkill. We don't even need to do that, actually. We can just do it from here. Yeah, we could just do it from here. Is there any other plays we need to make this turn? Not really. Okay, that's grand. We're going to go Verte. Why can't I use Verte? Hello? Question mark? Why Verte illegal? Huh? Why can't I use Verte? Kek W indeed. I thought I had this all planned out. Uh, you still can't use your effect. I don't know why you're activating that. You're still negated. Why can't I... What? Um... You're right, it's life points. I was so, oh my God, I thought I had the sauce. I thought I had it, that's fine. Okay, we're still gonna win though. We're still gonna win, it's fine. So we're gonna go Mali, then we're gonna go into Unicorn. Man, this isn't as exciting though. I, I, I would have preferred the other play, but it's fine, we can make this work. Uh, we're gonna go Verte as two materials, plus our Denier into Unicorn. Unicorn activates, discard one. I'm gonna spin Starving Venom back to deck. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We have an Omni negate, so whatever it is he has that's activatable, we can negate it. We don't really care. Drake it back when discarded will activate. It's gonna equip itself onto our adventure token. Three mirror force. <laughs> I actually, unironically, in a video I posted recently, I lost someone because they used double mirror force. Like I attack in the I attack, they flip up mirror force. I negate the mirror force of a hot red dragon archfiend abyss, they just flip up a second one and I lose. I unironically lost the mirror force. So I, I get it. <laughs> 100%. Gonna <laughs> bounce back the big dragon. Then we will melee into access code talker. And then we pop, pop, swing, 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 win. Easy dubs. There is the imperm. I was waiting on that. That does actually mean we don't have lethal anymore. Uh, which is unfortunate. It is still worth our griffin negate. It is. But it means we don't have lethal anymore. Uh, we are still going to pop him. Because we only have dark link monsters in grave for one. And two, this means that he's not going to have enough life points for a potential DPE play either. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to go battle phase and we're just going to start swinging. Tidying, tidying activates, banishes. Oh, he did this during the battle phase. Very smart. Okay, so I guess we didn't really have lethal at any point because he would have been able to do this. Very smart from our opponent there. Love to see it. Shuffles back to grab a level 7 or higher. Wait. Okay. Okay. Right, right, right. I panicked for a second. I thought I was I thought I was about to get TKO'd. Okay, adventure directly. He's got three cards in hand. Oh, he's got the chamber. He's got the tidying. This guy actually he's actually nuts. He just generated two uh, a plus two as well as stopped the majority of my damage. It was actually incredible. He did all of that in the battle phase. That was insane. And then he gets the grab branded fusion. This guy just went plus three. This guy just went plus three. 
what the hell? This deck's actually kinda nutty. He literally just went plus three. Out of nowhere. Off the top rope. What do you mean? Let me make this bigger. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's not the right buttons. Alrighty. Well, I mean, we'll just we'll ju we'll just have to wait and see what this guy has to do, right? I think we're gonna get cooked. I think this is I think this is the end of the win streak, right? <laughs> the win streak is coming to an end. Unfortunate. Wait. Huh? No branded fusion? Wait, don't tell me all of his albas. Well, there's one. He doesn't have any more albas in deck. What? Hang on. I don't think he has I don't think he has any more albas. He can't use branded fusion. There's no there's no way. He's a banished one and one in his grave. He's probably only playing two. So he's gonna Grab hospitality from Grave. This is probably going to give him a negate. Oh, he gets the popper access code. Yikes. He gets to pop the access code. Ah. He goes change over, change over into Xiao. This is rough. This is rough. Sets to Okay. Oh, we top decked the ghost bell. Okay. Um. Okay. He activates this. We activate ghost bell. He either doesn't get another dragon for his tidying, or he's forced to negate this by bouncing back to the deck. Which means he doesn't have an omni negate. Which means that we might actually be able to resolve Draga back. We might be able to win this still. We, it's possible. It's unlikely, but it's possible. We still have a, we still have a win con. Xiao's gonna revive Chamber from Grave. That's fine. Chamber's gonna search the deck for a, yet another card. Uh, hospitality. This guy is actually insane. I love his deck. His deck is so nice. I'm probably going to have to steal it. I'm going to be honest. I'm probably going to have to steal it. So we're going to activate Drago back. Uh, I guess we're going to bounce the house. I guess. We might as well. There's not really any other really good targets, right? There's Tidying. Tidying bounces Chamber back to hand to return a card I control back to my hand. So I guess he's probably going to target the Adventure token. Right. I would have to imagine. Who's gonna target the Draco back? Interesting. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Then we're gonna use Fateful Adventure then. We're gonna grab the Griffin Rider. Discard the Draco back. Draco back then equips back onto our adventure token. I don't think we can use the bounce again. I think the bounce is definitely limited to once per turn. What uh what link monsters do we have? Not very many. Nothing useful as such. Okay. Draco back equips back on. I don't think I can use your effect twice. I cannot. I think that's it. I think I think it is it is officially GG's. I don't think we have a win condition here. We can be annoying, but I don't think we can win. <laughs> I, 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 we can be annoying, but like we can't win. <laughs> this simply is not happening. Uh, let's see if Branded opening in Grave. He does not. Oh, but he's not even gonna activate House in the standby phase. Okay, I guess that's fine. So we're gonna hospitality, special summon a dragon maid from his hand. That's fine, we let that go. So there's chamber. Is he only playing chamber? Is all of this dragon maid stuff just around chamber? I guess that makes sense, right? 
It's the only good one. Uh, I guess parlor is kind of fine. Wait, did it actually search for something? Wait, but it, he has no cards left to search, really? Okay, so now he's going to use house. This is what we were waiting on. We wanted him to do this so we can negate and destroy the house dragon mate, right? Oh, the tidying though. He bounces. Oh, he bounces our token. Which is fine. Griffin still negates, I guess. How does he generate momentum, though? I guess he just does change over. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. GG's. Very well played from our opponent. Very, very well played. This deck he's playing has stamina. It has stamina. It will go the distance. I appreciate that. I, I for sure appreciate that. Absolutely. Very well done, the opponent. 